Well, time to pack up camp. You see this Osni top quilt? It just snaps into my poncho on one side. So my poncho's in hammock mode. It allows me to snap it in on one side, which does two things. One, it keeps it positioned this way over me, and it keeps it attached on one side so it can't get out of whack or fall out or anything like that. So it's like a, it's like a, it's like a bed at home. Flip the covers back, get in, flip the covers over. All right, so here's the beast. Well, this is the one I tore up in my test. <laughs> And, as you can see, I mean, it makes no difference how I'm using it here. Down in the bottom of the hood, look at all that sand. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> sand everywhere. Well, it's a desert. You can expect that. So there's the bag for the beast. Here's the bag for the blanket. And then, in the bottom of here is full of sand. <laughs> so, we just shake it out. All right, that's good. That deal will be ready to pack up now. So all of our blankets are Osni top quilts, our Osni cloaks, all that stuff. They all get stuffed. Stuffing is the easiest way to pack these things up. And they come with a stuff sack. And there's a reason this, oops, <laughs> open the camera. They all get stuffed, and there's a reason that we, we put them in a mesh stuff sack when we send them to you. You can also buy a compressor bag and suck them down farther if you want. Um, but we recommend if you store them, to store them really folded for long term. Take them out and just fold them like a blanket at your house for long term storage. But you know, short term, this works great, like in your active season. The nice thing about the mesh bag, the blankets are all breathable, all the, none of the materials like to hold on to moisture. So if you put them in a mesh bag, even if they might be slightly damp or something, that moisture will typically, I don't recommend just like wet stuff, leave it in here, but, but you know, if they're a little bit, tiny bit damp or something, I just stuff them in here and and they'll dry out on their own. Okay, and that's my pillow. All right, time to take the hammocks down. So I don't usually do camp takedown videos, I don't think. Anyway, because a lot of times I gotta get out of here. I stay as long as possible. So anyway, this is using one of our, this is like out of a hammock kit, or you can, or it's just a tent stake. We put shock cord in them, aluminum tent stake, very strong east aluminum. And we use them for toggles as well. Now when you're hanging a hammock, then they come, a pair of them come in your hammock kit if you order one. This is my Dyneema cord with eye, which you can use just as it comes. And I, I haven't yet got somebody to make that little my little, uh, what was I calling it, hammock key, yet. I have a possibility in Arizona, but we'll see how it goes. So, I don't know. I usually wind everything up in a figure eight. I don't know why. Made for parachute cord and stuff like that. It's good. Even this stuff, I don't know. 
I just got in such a habit that I just do it whether I need to or not. So this is basically how the hammock uh, retrofit kit uh, will come for the uh, quick connect cords for hammock. The only difference is I actually, this is one of our experiments, I actually put a grommet in the poncho part right here and put my cord through there. If you buy a retrofit kit, the cord will just go around your, your tie out strap right here. So I'll do the same thing, I'll just go around that strap. So when you're putting everything away, there's a little, a little clip right here, and you just, uh, just put on there and just kind of just pull it, and it'll just clip itself right in. So you just kind of put it on the little lip there and pull on it, and it'll just go right in there. So now here I am in place, and all I do is. Just start pulling when you get right to the very end. You may have to tuck it just a little, then it'll suck right in like that. So, ponchos. You just fold them in half like this. Then, just pull them up. Fold it in half. Well, with the HD poncho, that's it. You fold it in half, fold it in half again. With the regular ponchos, you fold it in half, in half, and in half. And once you've got that done, you just come down on the end. And on the heavy duty ones, I like to fold over a good bit right here. Then fold that part in half. Then start rolling up. I don't worry about getting all the debris out of there. Oftentimes you can find a spot that's pretty clean to roll up on. This isn't too bad, but it's not bad. When you get in a spot that there's a quite a bit of dirt or something, I just kind of Brush it off. Then you just keep going until you're done. I've showed this a number of times, but to roll up a beast, here's your uh, cord, your uh, webbing for, for uh, snapping it down once you've rolled it up. So I just let it lay there and then lay it down. So it's basically it's laying under there. It's all in place. And now, so here comes the test here. Here's the, here's my torn spot coming right there. Okay. It's going to be interesting to see how it does over time. But you see, I'm not babying it or anything. I'm not. I'm not trying to prevent anything or whatever. I'm just rolling it up like I normally would. Now, and the interesting thing is, this beast really, it pick, you would think that that would pick up just a ton of stuff. It actually picks up less than a poncho when you roll a poncho up. It's kind of weird. You wouldn't expect that. So I use my knee kind of in the middle as a third hand because I'm trying to compress and roll with my hands. And so I try to do the same thing the best I can with my knee also. And then we get down to the end. Just give it a little tug here. And we're good to go. So they're really actually, these, these beasts are really low maintenance. What is left on there at the very end, I just kind of brush that off. Drop it in the bag. All right. 
already. Now here's my poncho. This is a heavy duty Ranger Green Dark Olive, which is basically Dark Olive. Ranger Green and a heavy duty or Cordura is the same color as Dark Olive in our regular line. This is the ready to ship poncho right here, RTS. We're getting ready to add some more colors to that too. A little bit here and there. But anyway, so there's your size differential between the two. This weighs about a pound five. This weighs three. So that's your difference. If you want any of these, you know, chat, send a chat on our chat box on our website. These heavy duty rubber bands. A lot of times I don't take the bags they come in because I'm going to be stuffing this in something else. So a lot of times like I don't really need that other bag. You know, so I just put that heavy, this is a really tight, heavy rubber, <coughs> rubber band. If you want something like that, just let us know. We'll send them to you free. Uh, one or two of them to each person or whatever. Depending. You know, don't overload us. If you got one poncho, ask for one. If you got two, ask for two. You know. <laughs> I know some of you probably got everything we make, so <clears throat> I'll probably recognize you. <laughs> All right. We'll throw this in the Tahoe and drive on out of here. This camp has been a blast. I've had a good a good time the last couple of days here. And uh, really tested out a lot of stuff that you'll be seeing, you know, upcoming perhaps, you know, depending on how it works out, but uh tested stuff hiked you know uh used the uh tote goat rode all over had a great time it was fantastic <laughs>